Check out this trance pluck sound from Parsec. Being fed by chord sequencer with its humanized timing turned off, we've got a nice progression and a part. But while I was getting this far, I couldn't tell if I liked the eighth note rate, which feels a little slow, or the 16th note rate, which feels a bit too manic and hectic. The solution, I thought, would be to use an LFO device like Pulsar to modulate the rate of arpeggio lab between 1 8 and 1 16 There's just one problem. Flipping to the back of the rack, arpeggio lab doesn't have a CV input for its rate. However, if we select our players and parsec, right click and choose combine, we can wrap them all into a combinator. How does this help us, you ask? Well, the secret weapon of Reason's Combinator is that we can access modulation parameters beyond the jacks that we might see on the backside of a device. If I cable from Pulsar's LFO1 output to the CV1 input of my Combinator, I can go into the Combinator's editor, clicking on Arpeggio Lab in the device list, and assign CV1 to target the playback rate. I'll define the minimum maximum range as 1 8 and 1 16 note so that I can set Pulsar to a square waveform that oscillates back and forth between the two speeds giving me an arpeggio that slows down and speeds up in a cool musical way. I'll add another complementary arpeggio to support this one by loading the squared preset on Polytone and add a chord sequencer and arpeggio lab of its own up top. For the chord sequencer, I'll copy and paste the preset from our first arpeggio, and I'll set arpeggio lab up for a nice, slow, quarter note rate, and a short four-step pattern. I don't want or need a lot of movement from this sound because that's covered by my first arpeggio. This one can have nice, long note durations that augment the movement of the other synthesizer. Bring in some trap drums and an 808, and it's off to the races with yet another song idea driven by some advanced arpeggio lab movement. 